Hello, it's Misha, Sarah, I guess, Hammy Clark Clarsic. Hello, I'm Sarah and I play the harp. And this year I'll be teaching the Clarsic at Fish Online. I started taking lessons in primary seven, um, but that was after a couple of years of asking my mum and dad to play the Clarsic. I'd had a couple of wee lessons at different fashion and I'd really liked it. So after a wee while, my mum and dad let me start taking lessons. So I think I would have been about 12 then. I took my first lessons at Fish Bara, which um, was another fashion, but not Fish Online. Um, that one didn't exist when I was growing up. So Fish Bara was one on the Isle of Bara in the Western Isles. And the first year I went, I picked to learn the bagpipes and singing, I think it was Gaelic singing. And then at the concert at the end, that when the Clarsex played their tune that they had learned, that was the first time I'd ever seen a harp. And when I seen it and heard it, I was like, that's what I want to learn, that's my instrument. So yeah, that's where I first learned. I think the fish is really important. I think a lot of musicians in Scotland will have started through the Fish, and I know a lot of my friends who I play with and a lot of the musicians I know through different bands and stuff, they, a lot of them came through the Fashion. Um, because there's Fashion all over the country um, and it's quite an affordable way to learn music, it's a great way to start as a youngster and you know, you'll get to meet lots of people who have a similar interest in music and who are a similar age and it's a really great place to start learning music. And I know a lot of musicians, they start off at the face and then as they get older, they kind of branch off and they, some people will do jazz or classical or stick to traditional music or pop music or whatever, but it's a really good place to start. So I think the face is really important. And if we didn't have it, there would definitely be less professional musicians in Scotland. I used to be in a band called Cherry Grove and we got asked to go out to a festival in Australia. It was in Melbourne, and that was probably my favorite one because we got to go on these amazing flights across the world and then there, see all the beaches, do all the tourist stuff. And at night time, we were playing in these big tents to thousands of people and seeing all these other amazing bands. So yeah, I think that's my highlight so far. For me, the best thing is just doing something that I love and that I enjoy. Um, so I don't see it as work, especially when I'm performing. That's just something that I really enjoy and being able to do that full time um, as my job is really, really good. So that's my favorite thing. Also meeting new people is great and getting to play music with other people is another good part. But I think doing it full time as my job is probably my favorite part. I would pick Claire de Lune by Debussy. That's my favourite piece of music of all time. Um, and yeah, I just never get bored of it, so I'd pick that. So I can't just pick one person or one band because there's so many. Um, but I think for harp playing, I really like Michael Rooney's style. He's an Irish harpist um, and he also writes music. Um, so I love the music he writes and the way he plays as well. His style is really cool. Um, and for composition, writing music, I like Oliver Arnold, who's an Icelandic pianist. I really like his music. Um, but I've also got a lot of friends who play in bands and I love their style as well. So there's a fiddle player called Laura Wilkie and she plays in the Canaris Quintet. Um, she's one of my good friends, I love that band. They're so good. So yeah, loads of different places, friends, people I've never met, just loads of different inspiration sources. If I could perform anywhere, it would be the Sydney Opera House. I think it's just, everyone knows it as one of the kind of most popular venues. And I've been to Sydney, I've stood outside it and I thought, yeah, I'd definitely love to play in there. I've never seen a concert there. That's another thing I've got to tick off my bucket list. But yeah, if I had to pick one place, it would be the Sydney Opera House. Um, these are two tunes that I wrote for two of my nephews. The first one is called Callum's Jig and then it goes into Aidan's Reel. I've got a third nephew. I feel like I just need to say that so he doesn't feel left out. Um, but his tune doesn't really fit these ones. So I'll play that another time. So this is Callum's Jig and Aidan's Reel.
you haven't already signed up for Facial Online, you can do that at facefashlick.com. Um, I'll be teaching elementary harp and I'd love to see you there. Morning tang, I guess, cheerio.